going on everybody? My name is Jeffrey and today guys yet another awesome video talking about Ferris wheel spawning in GTA 5 online. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to press the like button and be sure to subscribe for more daily top-notch watchdogs in GTA 5 tips, news, info, and more. Now before we start off here, I do want to suggest watching my mod menu video, which has over 700 views, and if you guys want to check that out, that will really give you some background knowledge for this video. So you guys have been asking me on all the social media links, as well as probably YouTube, obviously, because I get most of the comments there, why are there Ferris wheels spawning in GTA 5 online? Now, I'm guessing that this is on Xbox because on PS3, the mod menus are much harder to get and a lot less people have them. Now, I'm one of the only people in online that actually uses the mod menu a lot that plays PS3, but definitely on Xbox, a lot of people use it. And it's really actually simple. What people do is get the mod menu, they go into online and they go to the spawn feature and they spawn Ferris wheels. It's actually not that hard and it really affects the game. Because the thing about mod menus is whenever you spawn something or you do something, the action will be taken to the other player's lobby so they'll be able to see on their screen. It's not just like a normal mod where you get to see it, it's just a really weird mod where the other player can see it, and no one has a really big explanation on why you can see it and the other player can see it and not just you like the other ones. So definitely this is kind of affecting a lot of people because people are spawning UFOs during races and stuff. Usually in free roam people notice it, but in some races I have been in on PS3 because I do play a lot. I have seen it in there. So it's a little bit weird how it's going on right now and it kind of stopped for a little bit. But it's basically the same thing. The explanation is the mod menu. And I don't think it's kind of, you know, affecting me except if it's in races. If it's in free roam and I, it's really not affecting me, it's not in my way. I'm really fine with the Ferris wheel. It's sort of like a little funny. It brings a little laugh at the end of the day. But definitely when it starts to get into races... I think that's a little bit crazy, and I think Rockstar should take an action against that. But definitely in free roam, like I said, it is completely fine with me. It's great, and I think it's just funny, and I think Rockstar should allow it in free roam. Uh, but definitely, they will probably take it away at one point. So again, if you guys want to check out the mod menu and how to download it for PS3 and Xbox 360, I will have a video on my channel, like I said in the beginning. If you guys want to check it out, it has mod menu in the title. It has over 700 views, I believe. And definitely, if you guys can show some support to that video, that really help it out. And again, there's really no other explanation for this Ferris wheels. Again, if you see UFOs or any other weird thing spawning, that is the same explanation for all of them. I just want to make that clear because another video is too specific to the UFO spawning. But here I'm going all out broad overview on what's spawning. And that is pretty much all for this video. Nothing much to say. It is just because of the mod menu. As always, if you guys can please support this video, but drop a like, it really help it out. And also subscribe for more daily top-notch watchdogs in GTA 5, tips, news, info, and more. Also, I have a Q&A going on right now. I need a few more questions. If you guys can please drop it in the comment section down below. The faster I get questions, the faster the Q&A will come out. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.